cool little beaver dam just outside camp. We made it to Ritter Bush Lookout. We've been hiking like six and a quarter miles already today. About to stop for lunch. Oh, he's so little. For size reference. Time to climb up this ladder. All right, in Devil's Gulch, we have to go through this little cave here. Oh, okay. This is so cool. Oh. Such a beautiful area, all the moss covered rocks. Woo! What a beautiful stretch of trail. Trying to show some of what we're working with here. It's pretty challenging. <laughs> Summit of Butternut. <laughs> that looks like it. So we made it to camp a little after 6 p.m. And um, that couple that camped with us the first two nights was there. And I set up my hammock. I took a shower with my Sea to Summit shower, which was a success. Um, I used the leftover water to wash my two-day-old socks and underwear and my four-day-old buff. Um, so did some trail laundry. Um, and uh, as soon as I got done with all of my chores, it started pouring rain, so good timing. Um, but I am inside my hammock now and the tarp seems to be holding up pretty good, so we'll see how this goes, but yeah, I've just been, it's been a very rainy trip. Um, we did have some nice weather today hiking. We ended up hiking 14 miles today. It was a long day. Um, my feet got wet toward the beginning of the day and never dried out so they're extremely pruney right now I'm hoping that they dry out okay overnight I'm gonna put some dry socks on and get in my quilt um, definitely not gonna do as ambitious of a day tomorrow I'm gonna take it a little easier I definitely pushed myself really hard today I hiked with a man named Craig today. Uh, he camped at Tillotson Camp last night as well, and he is also a hammock camper. And he was going to the same camp that I was today, so we decided to hike together. Um, so that was pretty cool. I didn't have to do it alone, and I felt like it helped kind of like push myself a little harder than I would if I were alone. Oh my god. The the rain and the wind is really bad right now. Um, I hope this tarp holds the whole night. Anyways, I'm gonna hunker down now. Good night.
I'm all packed up and ready to go. It's day five, Wednesday. It's 9 a.m. and I'm leaving Corliss Camp. Um, feeling great. Uh, despite having a slow morning, I didn't wake up until 6.30 and by the time I got up, um, Craig and everyone I knew had already left so I'm quite a bit behind them now and I'm only hiking to uh, Round Top Shelter which is a little over eight miles away. Um, wanted to take it a little easier today um, and I'm still on schedule to uh, get to Smuggler's Notch for Friday so that's good. Um, but today I am summiting Laraway Mountain and um, not sure what else but it's supposed to be a really nice view, maybe the best one so far. So I just summited Lairway Mountain and there wasn't any view up there, just a sign and a bunch of people there so I didn't film, but this is the view. This is Lairway Lookout. It's very beautiful. One of the best views I've seen this whole trip. Maybe tied with Haystack Mountain. This is a really cool spot. Made it to the parking lot on the Cotting Hollow Road. So I'm gonna cross the road and keep going. I've already hiked five miles today. So I finally have a trail name. It's not yet. I got it from a day hiker and I kind of like it and I think it fits so I'm going with that. It's a beautiful water source and it might be my last chance to get water before the shelter. I'm thinking about filling up here. So I think these are uh, for maple syrup. I'm crossing on uh, I think this is some private land. Oh, okay, cool. Doesn't look like anything's being collected right now. This is quite the extensive operation. I've seen this in videos before, but I didn't realize, like, it just keeps going. There's so much. And you have to duck under these in the trail. Now crossing Plot Road. Oh, Made it to Round Top Shelter. There's nobody here yet. Got the place to myself.
Here's the view from the shelter. Nice place to watch the sunset. So tonight there's only one other person at the shelter and we're both hammock campers so we both set up our hammock inside of the shelter because um, it's supposed to rain I think uh, maybe off and on throughout the night so I thought hey uh, that way I don't have to worry about packing up in the rain and make sure I'll stay extra dry. Um, really glad I decided to have a shorter day today. I think I'll be able to put down some more miles tomorrow to get up to um, Sterling Pond Shelter. Um, they'll put me in good position to meet my boyfriend on Friday, so. Um, yeah, I got some big climbs tomorrow up Whiteface, so it would be good to do that when I'm well rested. All right, heading out, it's 8 a.m. Yeah. I have like a 14 mile day ahead of me, which I did not realize. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. Prospect Road. The trail, like that sign's on this side. Oh, and there's a mark. Okay. So this area is closed for falcon breeding. Looks like this is a alternate trail we have to take. So um, Cyrus just met his dad at the Prospect Road parking lot to get his resupply. So. Um, I'm gonna continue hiking and he's probably gonna catch up to me at some point because I'm pretty sure he's faster than me. <laughs> so we'll see how far I make it. Alright, so that actually saved me a little time. It was actually a shortcut and I didn't have to climb up anything. So that actually sort of worked out in my favor, although I'm sure I'm missing out on a really great view but there'll be more of those. This is Bear Hollow Road. Coming to the famous Lamoy Bridge. Oh this is so cool. Kind of freaky, but also cool. Some the Moy River. Apparently, people swim down there. Kind of tempted, but it's also like not really a very warm day. So, oh, 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 oh. oh the bridge is shaking. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's a very sturdy bridge. It's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, I, I want to swim, but I kind of like also have a lot of miles to make up and I only just started hiking today. So uh, I think I'm going to wait and hold off till I get to Sterling Pond because I'm hoping I'll go swimming there. Oh boy, what do we got up here? I don't think I've seen this in any videos. Well, that wasn't the sturdiest ladder in the world, so I did not film going up it. Also, there was a day hiker there, so I wasn't going to take up his time. Going back into the woods. Now I'm walking through a field. 
So I have come across this rail trail. I think it goes to town. Um, I gotta figure out which way I need to go. It looks like a trail follows this a little ways, which I'm honestly happy about because that sign back there said I had seven miles to Mount Whiteface. So uh, I'm glad at least some of this is gonna be flat. So I think I just saw MNG up ahead, but I think they ran away when they saw me. I probably smell or something. Okay, they saw me and waved, so I guess I'm not on their shit list yet. Surprised at all the road walking there is today. Not that I'm complaining. I am averaging about two miles an hour, which is good for me. It smells like fresh cut wood over here. And there's more of those maple lines too. Shelter. Well, I just stopped for a quick second breakfast and now I am getting back on the trail and I have 3.1 miles to the summit of Whiteface Mountain. <laughs> And it's going to be a tough three miles, I think. Um, I've heard the last mile in particular. It's going to be a bit of a challenge. Uh, but I'm feeling good. still feel uh, pretty fresh. Especially after getting some food in my stomach. So let's do this. The trail has really not been that bad so far. I'm surprised at how much flat there is going up toward Whiteface. <laughs> My GPS says that I've hiked 8.2 miles already today, which I'm already surpassing the number of miles I did yesterday and I still feel great. <laughs> and the best part is it's not even 12.30 yet. Pretty cool, there's some trees growing on top of this rock. They are some pretty big trees too. Wow. Okay, I am beginning the final mile up to Whiteface. So let's see if it's as bad as they say. So far, it really hasn't been bad at all, so we'll see. This part was a little challenging to get up. I'm about 0.65 miles from the top. It's getting a little slippy. I'm 0.4 from the top. So far, it's going okay. A bit steep and slippery in some spots, but. I could see this being a lot harder if this was your last climb of the day. It's cool, misty, mossy, green forest. Made it to Whiteface Mountain, 3,700 feet. There's a view that way supposedly, but from the look of the sky, I don't think I'm going to see anything. Uh, so I'm going to keep going south. Okay, this looks super sketch. Um, hmm. Ooh, tricky spot. It is just down, down, down. Oh my god. I have to get down there. That one was as bad as it looks. I'm up on the ridge between Madonna and Whiteface. I just left Whiteface. I had lunch up there and everyone, uh, Cyrus and the two guys that are camped at Round Top with us and, uh, 
M and G. We're all there taking a break. I left first. I'm gonna try and push on to Madonna. The weather's total crap. Well, that's a scary sign. Just when the trail starts to get a little easier, the long trail throws this at you. I have emerged somewhere. I'm assuming I have to go up there. Nope, I was wrong. It's in here. Oh, look, a ladder. Huh? Wow. Forest is just stunning. Life is a mystery. Everyone must stand alone. I hear you call my name, and it feels like home. Oh, this, these ski slopes are so steep it's i'm telling you it's like i don't even know i you can't even tell but it's like this uh, 50 degrees angle i don't know it's steep oh. When you call my name, it's like a little prayer. I'm down on my knees. I want to take you there in the midnight hour. I can hear your power just like a prayer. You know I'll take you there. On the way back from Madonna to Sterling Pond Shelter, it's not getting much easier. <laughs> I am so ready for the shelter. Whew. Gosh, long day of hiking. Probably 14 miles I've done today. Probably some of the hardest stuff I've done this whole trip. God, like going up Madonna, coming down Madonna. Oh my God, that was hard. But I did really good today. I think I averaged about a mile and a half per hour. Uh, I'm not getting to camp too much later than I would have liked, so that's good. I found it. Uh, Sterling Pond Shelter. So I wanted to give an update about what happened last night. Uh, we got to the shelter and the weather was still terrible. It was blowing wind, it was rainy, and four of us were hammock campers and like me and Cyrus were just like, I don't want to set up my hammock in this. So we were just like hunkered down in the shelter um, with M and G and two northbounders that showed up and then we'd been there for like I don't know how long half an hour to 45 minutes before a caretaker came in and was like hey you know there's a warming hut uh why don't you come and go there and it was like point one away so we all like packed up our stuff again and we walked up to uh, top of the notch 
and um, we were actually, all four of us hammock campers were able to sling our hammocks up from the beams in the top of the notch building. Um, so it was pretty cool and it was warmer because we weren't being blown on by wind. Um, we were able to spread out. There was picnic tables in there. We could put our stuff on. Um, we didn't have to hang our food because it was enclosed. Um, and it was just like a much more comfortable sleep than it would have been if we hadn't been in there. So that was really awesome of the caretaker to offer. Um, and uh, it's the first time I came across the caretaker. I think she's the most northern one. So we'll pro I'll probably be seeing more of them as we go. Um, but the GMC card is really coming in handy. Apparently you don't have to show it, but I, I brought it with me anyways because... I, I paid for it, so I'm going to use it, um, and basically lets you stay in the lodges for free. Um, otherwise, it's $5, so I highly recommend getting a GMC membership because, like, I'm sure, like, the others in the group I was in wish that they had it because <laughs> they had to pay the $5. The GMC caretaker, like, uh, she gave us a lot of information. Um, she was kind of a Karen, but it was like helpful information anyway. Um, and she gave me a lighter because my matches suck. Um, I think they got wet at some point and they won't light. So, um, yeah, I have a lighter now, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, it was a good night.